Welcome to Electron Line, and now we're going to talk about the effect of temperature on solubility. And the general rule is that as the temperature of the solution goes up, the solubility of the solvent and the, and the uh, solute tends to go up as well. So let's go from, start from the beginning here. So again, we have a solvent, and to the solvent we add a solute. And the terminology is such that when the solute is, is soluble, it will begin to dissolve in the solvent. And when the maximum amount of the solute is dissolved, we then say that the solution is saturated, fully saturated with the solute. You cannot get any more of the solute into the solution uh, in a soluble state. When less than the maximum, let's say that this process begins, but it's not completed yet. When less than the maximum amount of the solute is therefore dissolved, we then say that the solution is unsaturated, hasn't been completed yet, so we can have additional solute dissolved in the solution. What happens is once we put a solute in a solvent, then the, the solute begins to dissolve. But at the same time as the solute is dissolving, some of the uh, solute that's already been dissolved in the solution will recrystallize back into the solute format, in the solid format. So as things are dissolving, some things are back crystal, crystallizing. So we call that crystallization and dissolving. And so this is an ongoing process. Initially, when it's not yet saturated, you'll have a greater number of ions being dissolved and fewer being crystallized. But as you get closer and closer and closer to the saturation point, less will dissolve and more will crystallize until the rate of both become equal. So when the saturation has been reached, we can then say that the rate of dissolving has equal, is now equal to the rate of crystallization. So that this is still an ongoing process, but that you're not going to end up with more ions in solution. Now, how does temperature affect all this? Well, we typically see that the solubility of compounds tend to increase with increasing temperature. And there are some exceptions to that rule. We can say that most increase with temperature and some actually decrease with temperature. Some examples is lithium sulfate, sodium sulfate, and cerium sulfate. But you can see that all three of them are dealing with the sulfate ion. And the sulfate ion is one of those ions that once it goes into solution, um, the water molecules tend to structure themselves around it in a particular way, taking energy out of the solution. So it takes more energy to break them apart and put them into solubility. And so therefore, with increasing temperature, that, uh, that solubility then becomes less and less and less. But the vast majority of cases, solubility will increase with increasing temperature. And the reason for that is as follows. When the temperature goes up, the molecules and the ions in solution, they will have more energy, more what we call kinetic energy. With higher temperatures, they will be, more, they will be moving more. As they move more, there's more of a chance for dissolving the, the uh, precipitates. There's more chance of dissolving the solute because there's a lot more kinetic action taking place, a lot more opportunities for, for the solvent molecules to meet the solute molecules and break them apart. They will have more energy to break them apart and to dissolve. The crystallization will then experience the opposite. For things to crystallize, things that have to calm down and they have to go into a lattice structure. If there's a lot of agitation, a lot of motion, there's less likelihood that crystallization will take place. So that process will slow down. This process will increase with the net result that the solubility will increase. Now, it's not necessarily as simple as that. I mean, this is a general rule that, that the, the atoms and the, the molecules and the ions follow. But there's a lot of things that other things that take place with the interaction between molecular forces when things are in solution, that it's very difficult to realize when things increase a lot with temperature and when things increase a little bit temperature. There's plenty of compounds that will increase very slightly with increase in temperatures. There are some that will increase very rapidly. So there's a lot of variation that has to do with a lot of intermolecular forces. Here we're just looking at the general rule of things. Temperature goes up, except for a few exceptions. You can in, you can account on the fact that solubility will increase as well. Now, of course, with gases, it's the other way around, and we'll get to another video where we can show you that the solubility gases will actually decrease with increasing temperature, but that's for another video. We'll see that at a later time.